Hello, beer tubers. Welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets, joined by my roommate Alex. Yeah, my name is Dat One Hood Nigga. Because <laughs> that's his Twitter name, actually. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter <laughs> at Dat One Hood Nigga. But the reason why I wanted to be in this beer review is because this is a beer from Oregon. Yeah. And a place in Oregon it's made in collaboration with. It's uh, the Rogue and Voodoo Donut Collab beer called Bacon Maple Ale. Yeah. I've, I've actually had one of the Bacon Maple Bars at Voodoo Donuts. Pretty fucking delicious. Yeah, and it's like, I think it was 6.4%, so not too high alcohol-wise, and it's got, it says here on the back, dedicated to Tress and Cat Daddy, the rogues of Voodoo Donuts. Ooh, that sounds sexy. <laughs> and it's brewed with Breeze, Cherry Wood Smoked Malt, Wireman, Beachwood Smoked Malt, House Smoked Hickory Malt, and then some, no, like, the Great Western Two Row, it's American Two Row, Munich Malt, then Applewood Smoked Bacon, Pure Maple Flavoring, and then uh, Rogue's uh, Hop Yard Revolution Hops or something like that, and the regular Rogue ingredients. 30 IBUs. It's a kind of a smoked beer. It's a gimmicky beer, kind of, I guess. That's what I've heard. Uh, but I really wanted to try it. You can buy it on the, the, the Rogue website, actually. So, yeah. But yeah, you had the what was it, bacon maple bar? Yeah. It's delicious? Fucking delicious. <laughs> Best food you've done it, there is. So, what color would you call this? Uh, it's. It's like a uh, applewood bacon colored. Uh, it is actually like dark. It, it, it's like a dark reddish brown. So yeah, I agree. Kind of an off white head. Yeah. Let's take out the aroma. That's so it's, weird. It smells, like, <laughs> it smells like bacon. <laughs> yeah, it smells really. It's and you really smell a lot of sweet maple syrup kind of aroma in there. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the weirdest smoked beers I've ever smelled. But there isn't much else to it. Yeah, just, I don't know, it smells like the bacon maple bar. It does? Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, a lot of smoke. And the smoke is just like that meaty bacon kind of aroma with a lot of sweet, sugary, maple, syrupy, like, aromas to it. Maybe a little bit of a woody aroma. You want to give it a taste? Yeah, let's give it a taste. That shit's fucking delicious. That's, you like it? Yeah. That's pretty interesting. It tastes like fucking liquid bacon. I gotta get more of these. <laughs> this is actually, does it taste like the bacon maple bar? Uh, yeah. It does. It, it, it's, it's in the similar line. Oh, yeah, well, it. you don't have like the bread part of the no. bacon with it or anything. You just have like the bacon and the maple. But it tastes good. Mm. It's well carbonated too. I'd say the mouthfeel is like lighter side of medium. It's dry. And that smoke flavor of bacon just lingers. I can still taste it, and I just took one sip of it. Fuck yeah. And the maple is more in the background, too, I'd say. The most dominant flavor, I'd say, is like that smoky bacon, almost like a smoked sausage flavor to it. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes just like bacon. Bacon and beer. Yeah. Two, two, one, two best things on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Parody one thing. I, I can see how people are calling it gimmicky, but I actually kind of like it. It's a really unique smoke beer. I can actually... Do you think this would pair well with the donut itself, or would it get too much? Mm, I, this has a very strong bacon taste to it, so maybe just a maple bar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they have a regular maple bar, too? Yeah. You got the... I think it's the McMinnville cream. Okay. So, that would probably taste good with it. Cool. Yeah, because it's like... It's up, up front, there's a lot of bacon flavors. A lot of that smoked woody, kind of smoked sausage, too. And the maple syrupy flavor is more on the back end. It's kind of there, but it's not as dominant as the aroma, because the aroma is really maple and sweet and sugary. It does have some sweet, sugary flavors, too. But, like, it's not a really complex beer. No. It's just like a, I guess, very experimental beer. But I, I, I like it, too. I like it. I'd drink it again. Yeah. What, what um, grade would you give this beer? Uh... Well, 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 it depends. If you're going for like a, a drinkable beer, and it, it, it's well, in your own opinion, just what do you think of it? Not related to any other beer styles or your own personal. I, I, I enjoy the bacon flavoring to it. It might be a tad bit too strong, uh, but other than that, I mean, maybe a little bit more maple flavoring and a little less of the bacon flavoring, and yeah. it would be delicious. Yeah, maybe a little more body to it, in my opinion, too. Yeah, it's kind of thin. It, it is pretty thin, so I'd probably get it like. 70, 75. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't go as high because I've had like my favorite smoke beer is still the one from Asian Canada. Yeah. 
Whoopock, I think oh. it is, of Manson. Those are really good. This is kind of a little more gimmicky and a little one-sided, but it's still a pretty good beer. Uh, and as you say, little tone down the bacon flavor a little so you can taste the maple a little more, and then more body. I think it needs more body. Uh, then it would be good. So I'm, I'm going to be, I'm a little higher than you because I'm big into smoked beers. So I'm going to say 77. All right. Uh, definitely makes me want to try Wudu Donuts, uh, donuts, if they're like that experiment and all and all. So uh, yeah, guys, it does it for this beer review of the Rogue and Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple Ale. If you want to try this beer, you can purchase it at Rogue's website, as I did. I think it was like uh, eight or nine. Or was it ten bucks? I can't remember. Something along those lines. But it's a big seven fifty. So it's fine. So yeah, guys. Let us know what you think of this brew if you've had it. As always, remember to come subscribe and uh, yep. cheers. You can also find me on Twitter at that one hood nigga. <laughs> well, we're going to see you guys in another beer review.